Kuriakos. Sir, first of all, I would say the most unfortunate thing is Honorable President's address became a political statement and it is glorifying the anti people policies which were adopted by two governments, 2014 and 2019. Sir, actually, the realities are very much different from the speech. Sir, the common people, the farmers, the workers, the students, the youths, the old people of these countries uh, is suffering very much from the anti-people policies of this government. Whatever promises they have done in the time of elections in 2014 and 2019, they are deviating now. They already deviated too many things. I can point out too many cases here. Sir, what is the petrol and diesel price now? It crossed 100 rupees. At the time of UPA regime, they claimed, they promised, they will reduce the price of petrol and diesel uh, below uh, 50 rupees. But now they are blaming against the international marketing price. At the time of UPA, they uh, said it is the fault of Manmohan Singh government. But now they are not having any uh, genuine answer and they are saying that it is depending upon international market price. It is the main, uh, prom uh, it is the main uh, violation of the promise, uh, promise of this government, sir. Sir, in the case of doubling the policy, Sir, what happened to the farmers? Is this government is willing to address the people in the coming election 2024 with doubling a policy? It's become a joke now. Sir, in the case of job creation, this government pro uh, promised two crores jobs per year. According to that data, that figure, it would have been crossed 20 crores of jobs per year. But not been, we can see, any, any kind of job creation by this government. It is a violation of their promise. Sir, in the case of scholarships, previous UPA government initiated too many scholarships for students. In the case of marriage and means scholarship, pre matric scholarship, special scholarships for minority communities, including the Maulana Asad scholarship. Wherever the scholarships have been announced by the central government, this government might reduce or remove uh, from the scenario. This is going to, this is, this is happening nowadays. Sir, in the case of uh, minority community of this country, sir, especially the anti-Christian attacks is increasing day by day. We have an experience of Manipur. What happened there? Honorable Prime Minister having no comment on Manipur issue. More than 250 or above 300 uh, churches have been destroyed. Not been stopped the violence of Manipur. And in another uh, states also, in the last month in Madhya Pradesh, one parish priest, he is a Malayali, his name is Father Anil John, been arrested and remanded to jail. And he had charged the commun communal conversion laws. That means that they are using as a weapon against the uh, Christian community of this country. It is a very sad thing and it is most unfortunate thing, sir. In all the countries wherever BJP is ruling, anti-Christian attack, it is uh, increasing day by day. And in Kerala also, they are trying to pleasing the Christian community. That, that is the another, another thing we are facing politically. Sir, in the case of uh, another matter, I would demand here, the Dalit Christian community from our states, they are demanding the reservation. They are deserving that. Many of the com marginalized community being protected by reservation policy of this government and the earlier government, previous government, UP government also protected so many communities, marginalized communities by reservation announcements, amendments of our constitution. But even now, the Christian minority, the Christian community uh, not addressed or not, the, the, not taken by their demands. So I demand the Dalit Christian community's reservation should be adopted by uh, this government. So I'm coming to another point. The success stories of every government depends upon the commitment and the hard work of the employees, uh, especially the workers like Anganwadi workers, helpers, Asha workers, and Narega workers. And yesterday's budget also not been mentioned any, anything about our Anganwadi workers and uh, Asha workers. So I demand here, they should recognize, they should get enough wages, at least 25,000 rupees per month they have to, uh, they have to, because they are having the eligibility, they are, they are uh, doing much more uh, than any other community to the nation. So, their the, the communities, Asha workers, Anganwadi workers, helpers, teachers, 
and the Narega workers, they should be recognized, sir. That is our main demand. Sir, I urge upon this government in the case of another matter that is related with human animal conflict. Sir, this government passed the amendment laws of Wildlife Protection Act. But I would like to say, is there any effect uh, of that amendment act? Whether the uh, farmer community or the common man is protected by this Wildlife Amendment Act? No, nothing is happening everywhere. Nothing is happening in, uh, in our country. Sir, in Kerala, we are facing a crucial situation every day in daytime. The cruel wild animals is coming out from the forest and attacking the people. In my constituency, Idiki, in the last 10 years, I witnessed more around 100 people have been killed or died by wild elephant attack. Last month, two laborers, poor laborers have been uh, died by uh, wild uh, elephant attack. Sir, there is no remedy. So my demand here, we have to adopt the policies wherever uh, in successive manner adopted or implemented in foreign countries, we have to implement here. The vermin list already excluded by the, uh, uh, this government, that is most unfortunate. I, 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 I am demanding here, it should be reintroduced, the vermin list. We have to capture the vermin animals. So, uh, there, there is no option. And another thing, we have to adopt the culling policy for resisting the birth rate of the uh, cruel animals, including tiger, uh, bear, and other uh, wild animals. They are passing through the uh, villages and townships uh, of, of all over Kerala, we are witnessing nowadays. It is the most, most unfortunate thing. Sir, in the case of uh, another thing, the promises made by this government in the uh, in development sector to Kerala, Angamali Shabari Railway, that was the promise of Bajpayee government, but not being fulfilled. The responsibility mainly rested upon the central government, as well as in the state government also. The, they are not at all responding. Whatever this uh, state, uh, central government is demanding to state government, state government is not responding. Earlier, they have committed 50% share. That uh, uh, agreement is there. But central government again asking the 50% share for Angamali Shabari Railway. Yesterday, budget also, the 100 crore rupees allotted. Not been utilized last one year. And again announced. And again asking the 50% uh, share from state government. But state government is not at all responding. Uh, uh, responding. Both the governments not been fulfilling their commitments to the people of Kerala, sir. Sir, in the case of national highway development, so many works are going on. But in the case of 12 national highway upgradation from the state of Kerala, kept in pending, not been, not been giving the final sanction. The previous government, the first BJP government, given the in principle approval for 12 cases. In my constituency also, Vijayapuram Unnigal Road is there. We are demanding for the final sanction, but not at all getting the approval of the uh, 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 Ministry of uh, Rural, uh, sorry, Road Transport. But uh, that, is, uh, unfor uh, that, that is unfortunate thing, sir. Sir, I am concluding. Wherever the promises given, uh, given by uh, this government, they are deviating. They are making another goalpost. That is the most unfortunate thing the, the country is witnessing now. We are, uh, we are watching that. That's why the president's address became a political statement. Thus, uh, these words, I am concluding my speech. Thank you, sir. Shri Tejasri Surya Ji. Dhanibad speaker, sir. Aapne...